Hello, welcome to SKT Academy. I hope everything will be fine. In this video, I will teach you how to render uh, an AutoCAD plan in Photoshop. This is a simple plan that I have created in AutoCAD and then exported or plotted as PDF. And I will show you the final result. This is the final result of the render in Photoshop. Let's create together. Let's open our plan in Photoshop. I have already exported from AutoCAD in PDF format. So I will drag it. Yeah, I want resolution 300. And uh, I have two plans. Actually, this is uh, the, uh, the plan is the same, but one is with the furniture. Uh, layout so for scaling of furniture I will use as a reference okay again press enter and hide this layer now name this layer as a plan I'll create a new layer and give it a name background I will drag it down but with my recorder this is not working so I will pause the video and I will drag my background layer uh, below. Now I will give it a color with all backspace. Select magic wand tool but for the selection we must have uh, selected our plan layer. Remember this is the key so magic wand tool and I will just zoom in Add to selection select this choice and now Be careful while selection. I think I have selected all the walls. Now I will create a new layer and give it a name walls and uh, all backspace for color and then control D to deselect my walls. Now double click on this layer. Select uh, drop shadow, just decrease the size, I think this is better. Also apply B well in emboss to have a 3D effect, a bit of realistic effect. I will just decrease the size to 8 and 8 also. This looks good. Okay. Now. Again select the plan layer and uh, select your room. If you want to apply same materials for each of the bedrooms then uh, select all bedrooms like this. Again select this one and this one. But if you want to apply different uh, materials then select uh, separate uh, selection now I'll make a new layer and we'll call it bedrooms and with alt backspace I will give it a color and then control D to deselect now I will open materials first want to apply new materials uh, desktop and uh, this is my folder I have downloaded new textures so let's try some new textures for the bedrooms 
think this one will be good let's try this one you can change it later or you may apply this one okay I'll select this one open it now go to edit menu and define pattern okay again now double click on bedroom layer and select pattern overlay select uh, your desired pattern like I have applied this one and decrease its size like this and I will apply inner shadow uh, to show the depth like this okay you can change it later if you want but I think this is good now again select your plan layer and magic wand tool no power bathroom I will select the same materials now again create a new layer That's. and with alt backspace and then control D to deselect open texture like this and uh, I think I'll have to select uh, texture in the textures uh, I don't have still I uh, are yeah, in tiles this one is good uh, and I think I already have applied it so double click on it pattern overlay and I will try to scale it like this and then the inner shadow for depth effect like this select this area again select your plan layer and uh, magic wand tool click here new layer and with alt backspace and then control D now we'll apply materials with pattern overlay this is a store so this will this one will be good like this or or I will try 15 yeah and then the inner shadow for the depth effect okay looks good now again plan layer select this one this one and this one now create a new layer again uh, drawing room or you may call it guest room with alt backspace and then control D to deselect I'll try to apply a new material yeah this one this is good go to edit menu and then define pattern ok and double click on the drawing room layer and then pattern overlay and then apply this one yeah and then the inner shadow for depth effect okay this looks good now for the kitchen again I will select plan layer and create a new layer with our backspace and then control D and then we will rename it with kitchen layer you can double click on it 
and apply in a pattern overlay five will be good I think or three this looks good then the inner shadow for this effect and this then okay uh, don't worry about materials you can change it anytime you want because this is an editable PSD file don't worry about that again plan select this one and uh, create a new layer and I will rename it with the kitchen counter with our backspace and then control D to deselect. I will open the material. I have downloaded some good materials for this is a polished marble. So normally people use I will pause the video to resize it. Now I'll go to edit the fine pattern and OK. Apply here on kitchen counter. Pattern overlay and polished materials. You can apply B will and emboss like this and uh, inner shadow to show some depth. I'll decrease the size a bit like this this looks good or if you can uh, remove again the bevel and emboss yeah this looks good okay now for this area again plan magic pen tool select your desired area like this and new layer and I will call it dining room without backspace and then control D now go to materials again I think this one will be good or if you want to apply this one yeah this looks good I go to edit menu and then define pattern ok now double click here and uh, pattern and apply marbles like this you can change it later if you want now you have to apply material here and for this side and for lawn and here first for lawn magic wand tool select area lawn dial backspace and then control D double click and pattern overlay and grass like this and then inner shadow to show some depth ok now select this area first select your plan click here new layer area 1 yeah, with all backspace and then control D to deselect again open materials you can apply different material here I think this one will be good go to edit define pattern ok and uh, double click here 
pattern overlay five or you may apply ten and then apply inner shadow to show some depth this area we have to select again plan create a new layer area 2 for example with alt backspace and then control e to deselect again I will open materials this one edit and then define pattern okay click here double click on this layer and then select pattern overlay like this this looks good apply inner shadow for better look and you can scale it this looks good now okay select this area again plan click here new layer area 3 I'll backspace and then control D to deselect again open materials this one edit define pattern ok now go to uh, your file again double click here pattern overlay and select this one yeah this looks good uh, I will apply inner shadow again to show some depth and then OK. You can change materials anytime you want. For example, I want to change these materials. So go to bedroom and pattern overlay and then apply materials like this, this, this one and you may resize it or you may apply this one I think this one is good okay now we have to import our furniture here and last uh, remember we have to apply materials on our stairs and in windows so again plan and uh, I will zoom my drawing a bit magic wand tool new layer and then stairs with alt backspace and then control D to deselect control D double click here pattern overlay and apply can check it whatever it sweats so you may apply it and uh, drop shadow and inner shadow also just decrease the size 
remove that okay now select again the plan layer and we have to apply colors on our doors and uh, our windows and ventilator so select magic wand tool be careful control Z control Z two are remaining so I will zoom it I have selected all the windows now I'll create a new layer windows and select this color is good without backspace and then control D to deselect I will turn on my layer with furniture like this now I will import furniture here you can download free from the internet just google it and you will find your desired furniture and texture for free Just import this one, open it, control C for control A first and then control C and I'm clicking here and then control V to paste. I will move it but first I will have to pause the video and for the rotation and resizing I'll turn on the layer again and uh, you can see here with control T I will transform it but with my recording uh, this won't work so I'll pause the video again I have scaled my beds and the process for all the furniture and stuffs are the same so I think this is enough for this tutorial but wait a bit I will have to import one thing more this is really nice if you can apply download these textures control A control C and then here we have to control V I will place it here, place it here or you can place it here. So this is how I imported carpets and uh, couch. Uh, the process for the furniture is the same. Uh, you can download it free from the internet. So there's uh, it for this tutorial. I hope you will like my videos. If you like my videos, do subscribe my channel, like it and share it. See you in next videos. Bye.